Good morning. Today we're going to do a transmission oil change. This is on a Road King. This is a CVO bike, but they're all the same. We'll get our 3 8 Allen head and just loosen it a little bit. Now I'm going to go under the bike with a 5 8 socket with a little extension and we'll remove the tranny plug all right this is your transmission plug right here the other one in the front is your engine oil i did not remove the top plug so this oil would not just freely flow it makes a little bit of a difference with that i'm going to get my ratchet and a rag i got my little pal i'm going to loosen this until I can get it by hand. All right, I got it now. Get your little pal under there. Try to be careful. She looks pretty clean. All right, with the O-ring, just slide it over it. I like to use a little dot, a thread sealer. Pretty good stuff, just a little. That's all. Now I'll put this back in. I'll just snug it up and uh, we'll proceed. Now I'm going to remove the plug, transmission top plug. Now with the bike straight up, you want to just put it to right before the F. And all you want to do is drop the plug in, do not thread it in, and check your level. To right before the F. That should be about probably 22 ounces. And now we're going to put this plug back in. Okay, with that I got 22 ounces of oil in this measuring container I start off with 22 and take a measurement and check it out start the bike up and then take another measurement and we'll see what we got alright plug in she's beautiful Okay, as you see, we like to put it right before the F. The book says place it in, do not thread it down, have the bike level, pull it out, and the oil is too clean to really see it, but it's right before the F. Now I will ride this bike and I'll check it again. Hand tighten that. Just that simple. Now with that, I'm going to start the bike up and we'll check it again. Try not to overfill the transmission. You don't need no leaks or anything. It calls for to be at that full mark, which is pretty much 22 fluid ounces. That's what I put on this. I went and just got a regular paint. This is for mixing paints. And there's 16, I put a mark. And uh, that's like 22. I poured it in there and let's see where we're at. Just started the bike.
Yeah, some people, they'll throw just a quart in here. You know what? Check your manual. Do what it says. There we go. Let it settle down a minute. Get the right angle. And she's beautiful. Thread it back in. Snug it up. There's an O-ring on this too. Don't go crazy with these because with the O-rings and everything, these things seal nice. Okay, now that we're finished, I used Amosol V-Twin Synthetic. Great stuff. With that, any questions, just ask. Ride safe, guys, and uh, leave a comment. All right, have a great day.